Hey there and welcome to Consult Supply Guy. My name is Andrew and today we're talking about how you can make money real quickly by doing gift basket. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe. If you're a member of the consulting crew, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Let's get to it. As I said, welcome to Consult the Blind Guy. My name is Andrew, and today we're talking about how you can make money by creating and selling gift baskets. Now, many people really don't consider this, but creating gift baskets is fairly simple, not all that expensive to invest in, and you can make a great deal of money by doing it. For instance, have you ever gone to the grocery store or department store and seen the gift baskets that they have where they're charging $20, $30, $40, $50, and upwards of $100, depending on what some of them have in them? Have you ever thought to yourself, man, that's expensive for that little bit of stuff? Pretty sure you have because I know I have myself a few different times when I've purchased a couple and was very disappointed with the quality of the basket itself and the items in it that you couldn't see everything in. So essentially what you're going to do is you're going to buy a wicker basket or whatever kind of basket you want to use and then you're going to put items into it and then sell it. Now you could do this a few different ways. You can do them based on the holidays. You can do them based on events. You can do them for special occasions like weddings, birthdays, and so on. And you can literally invest as much or as little as you want into these and still make a profit. We'll say, for instance, you buy a wicker basket that's only like 12 inches around okay you then put something into it to make it look a little bit decorative on the bottom and then for a child's birthday or a teenager's birthday or a birthday in general you could have a birthday card in it you could have a specific number within it to show the age that it's intended for like a five-year-old not that necessarily five-year-olds get gift baskets but for example you could then have a couple different toys in there like matchbox cards or maybe barbie dolls or whatever for toys and then you could also go into the aspect of other items like school supplies or stickers or something to that effect. You could do the same thing for the holidays. It could be, for instance, Halloween or Christmas, or it could be 4th of July. So you could set it up so each of those baskets is designed towards that holiday. For Christmas, you could buy a basket, put uh, green or red material on the inside to give it a bit of color. You could put Christmas ornaments in it. You could have stocking stuffer type items. You could have Christmas candies, candy canes, uh, little stuff, Santa, little gifts. You know, you can go as inexpensive or as expensive as you really want to and then on top of that you can turn around calculate what all you have invested in just that one basket and then double it we'll say you spend $20 on all the various items in the basket instead of selling it for a $25 or $30 you could sell it for 40 now why because what you want to do essentially is not only sell the product.
products that are in that basket to recoup your money, but you want to make profit. And why do you want to make double, for instance? Well, with the way that inflation works, and maybe you got the items and they were not on sale, or maybe they were on sale, but you want to replenish those supplies. If they were on sale, well, you're making a little bit extra, but if you've got them at regular price, now you're going to be able to ensure that you can cover the cost of your investment in those items for the basket, and then be able to put a little bit extra towards the next purchase and still make profit for yourself for the time spent, gas money and time of procuring all of the items in the basket and then marketing it yourself or possibly placing ads, anything like that that you invest into it. You could do this as a part-time or a full-time business. You could do it as a seasonal business, a side hustle, or you can do it as something that is literally on a case-by-case -case basis. It's entirely up to you. And this is just one of many different ways that you can make money from home and online. If you're interested, head on over to consultablindguy.com slash blog, and you'll be able to find an article on this topic and many other topics. You may also be interested in purchasing a copy of my limited edition book, Income Booster, 100 plus businesses, you could start from home and ditch the nine to five. And there's literally tons of information in there, tips, tricks, and things to consider when it comes to working from home, working online, in the various different fields. And there's something for everyone. It doesn't matter whether you work full-time, part-time, unemployed, disabled, or a stay-at-home parent. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and drop them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Until the next time, stay safe, have a great day or evening, depending on where you are in the world, and we'll see you in the next episode.